Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. Tomorrow has its own troubles. We worry so much about what our future is going to look like. We think about could it go right or could it go wrong? That's that state of not knowing, right? That's that state of uncertainty, right? We don't know what life is going to bring us. We don't know what different issues we're going to go through. We don't know what different circumstances we're going to experience. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't know what's going to come next in our lives, right? That's that, that's that state of, like I said, uncertainty, not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow. But we already know that tomorrow isn't promised anyway, right? So don't even worry. I'm not going to say don't worry about tomorrow, but, and don't worry about the next step, but God's going to take care of it. God already has a plan in stone, already written down, even before you were even a thought that everything was going to work out for your life. Do not worry about the next test you have to take in class. Don't worry about the next project. Don't worry about the next job. Don't worry about the next uh, piece of money you're going to make. God's going to take care of it. I remember a year and a half ago when I was in a bad situation and I've been through many bad situations where I didn't know if I was going to be successful the next day or I was always worried about what was next until I had to realize like part of it is, isn't really in my control, right? That's like your thoughts, right? People say they deal with depression. They don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, to them. But if you have the right mindset, if you have the right, if you have the faith, if you have the hope, right? You have that faith and hope that everything will work out as God has in store for you. Don't go off track of God's plan. Do not lose your faith in God's plan. Do not lose your focus in God's plan. Keep reading Matthew 6, 34 over and over and over and over again. I love that verse because it says, do not worry. And worrying is not going to help you your case. Worrying at the same time is low-key a sin because worrying about what's, you know what I'm saying? Worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow. It's like almost like you don't have a trust in God. It's like you almost don't have that faith in God. It's like you don't have that, that belief, that hope. And what else would you put your hope and faith in? The world or God? I'm choosing God at the end of the day. I'm choosing God because God has got me this far. God has blessed me this far. God has taken me out of situations and put me into better ones. Even if bad things have happened to me, he put me in those certain situations for a reason. And now today, he has put me in an amazing situation. I'm here to let you know that if you are doubting God and you, you are worried about tomorrow, lean on him. I want to let you know that you can lean on him and put your faith and hope in him, even if it feels like nothing is working out, regardless if you do. Never stop believing in him because he has got you this far for a reason. Thank you for watching. And as always, God bless.